guys, this is D.W. Harris, and I've got my uh, Gamo uh, Bone Collector, 22 caliber, and I just brought it out of the house, it's about 70 degrees in the house, and it's about 30 degrees and windy outdoors, so I want to take six shots and target uh, 30 yards down maze, then leave the gun out here for an hour. Six shots at the second target downrange and see if there's a difference in the impact of the pellets versus hot and cold. So let me assume we went downrange. There we are, there's the target. And I'll, I'll do the target on the left with the, with the gun warm out of the house. I'm just aiming at the bullseye. Wherever the uh, pellets go, that's where they go. We just want to see the thing on the back. See that? See that one shot? Look like it's shot low. Okay, six shots. Now I'm going to leave the gun out here for one hour and I'll come back out and shoot the target on the right and we'll see if all the pellets go low or high or left or right or what happens. Okay, it's been a little over an hour now. Our gun's been sitting out here in the cold. And I'm going to take uh, six shots at the target on the right. Yeah, I'm aiming at the back.
that's three. Six. Okay, that's it. Now, uh, we we'll get on there and uh, I'll grab those two targets and we'll get a close look at them. Okay, here's our targets. And when the gun first came out, when the gun was warm, all the uh, pellets were right at the bottom of the target, in the bottom half. And when the gun was cold, they went to the top right of the target, all six shots. And uh, what, that, what that tells you is when it's cold out, you should leave your gun outside for about an hour to, uh, to get cold and uh, adjust your scope before you go hunting or you're going to be way off. That's, that's quite, a, quite a bit of difference. And, that's the point of aim there. So here's a look at uh, my bone collector. This is a Gen 2. And as you notice, the, the magazine is, is removed. The reason I removed it is after two years, the gun was shooting way off. And uh, I, you know, I changed the scope, this and that, cleaned the barrel, still the same thing. And what it was is the magazine was distorting the uh, uh, the skirt on the pellets, causing the problem. So I took it off. I still like the gun. I'm, you know, it's a it's a great gun. I I have another gamo gun, a swarm, and it's it's doing the uh, it's starting to do the same thing. I got to take the uh, mag off that. But uh, the mag was nice while it lasted, and it's a great gun. It's it's really detailed. Nice. You know? And, uh, I'm using a, uh, Simmons, uh, scope on this, and Pro Target, it's called, and, uh, you get those very reasonable, about well, like hundred dollars, like about sixty bucks, I think I paid for this one. And it's a, uh, nice scope. And that's going to be it for this one, guys. I just wanted to show the difference. So you know, when you're, it's cold out, but you've got outside for a while, side it in, and then you're good to go.